If you are an indie game developer and you're making games all the time, then having a cool looking portfolio to show your games is pretty important. And for my personal preference, I love the HIO profile page. So in this small video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to make your profile stand out and be a bit cool. Sound the horns, subscribe, and let's get started. Hi everyone, it's Sir Frederick, and welcome back to another amazing game dev adventure. And in this tiny video, I'm going to give you 10 tips and steps that I've used to transform my account from looking like this to this. The final version is clean and have a nice feel to it and will definitely get me more views and clicks on my game than that horrible abomination. Tip number one, figure out your brand. What are you going to name yourself online and what kind of stuff and games you'd like to create or make? My brand is my nickname, Fadrik for sure and the full name is Fadrik Alexander and usually you need the long one in some cases. So figuring out your brand is important and let me tell you why. Tip number two, get a relatable username. You need your account to have a unique username that can be traced back to you and to your brand. For example, I can't change my account name or my account username to the white wolf because people won't know that the link using the white wolf username will trace back to me. So by having my username fadrikalexander.hio will immediately tell people that this link is mine and can follow back and trace back to my page. And you can change your username in the edit account at the top of the page right here. Let's continue with this setting page. Tip number three, have a clear profile picture. The profile picture is what everyone will see when you comment on their games or when you have a small chat in the forum. So it really reflects your brand and should be visible at a small size so make sure not to crowd it up with a lot of letters or a lot of pictures for example just my logo with a simple f tip number four manage your links you can add a website and a twitter to the top of your page so don't forget to add them tip number five write a clear description this is the first thing people are gonna read when they enter your site or your profile page so make sure to write a clear and understandable description on what you do and who you are mine is the same as my youtube intro hi everyone it's sir Frederick, and welcome to my hio page join my adventure through the universe of game development from tutorials to exploring game design ideas to creating cool devlogs and games that include cool and clever gameplay mechanics ending with a subscribe link to my channel and a join discord link to our kingdom. This immediately tells people everything they need to know about me and about my brand. And now we're done from this setting page. Going back to the profile page, we can see the edit scene button. Let's press it and see what cool stuff it holds. Tip number six, a super awesome banner. The cover photo or the banner photo sits in the highest place on your page. So it should be clear and beautiful and describe your brand. Mine is simple by just having my brand logo in the middle of it. Also, I've added a little touch to make it float above the rest of the page. So be as creative as you can. Tip number seven, colors and fonts. I can't stress enough how important is using a normal, not super bright or not super dim colors colors that really suit your profile and also choose a normal clear to read font don't choose something really complicated just clear to read tip number eight use the grid layout please use the grid layout way to show your games it's much prettier and all your games will be shown without having to scroll like a hundred meters down the page to find all your games tip number nine order your games try to change the order of your games try to leave the most exciting one in the top and not so exciting one or the small games in the bottom tip number 10 use css we can't just ignore this awesome feature that can up your profile game to a whole new level 
For who doesn't know, CSS it refers to cascading style sheets programming language and used to improve the presentation of any document written in any markup language like HTML and this page, guess what, is written by HTML. So CSS, it's pretty easy and simple to learn. I would recommend going to WC School website to find all the awesome and delicious knowledge. For H2.io, first we have to request a CSS customization from the site support by sending an email to support at h.io and they will reply in like a day or two max and after it get enabled you can go here in the place of the edit scene page and put your CSS go. I will not go in details about it as I say the language is pretty simple to learn but I can teach you a trick than how to get the devs or class name that you want to change and that by just pressing the F12 button and then this small arrow shape button. This will open the site code and this button will allow us to highlight the devs or the classes that we are selecting. So now you can just move the cursor to the object in the screen and voila, you can see the dev dot the class name. For example, if you want to improve the game thumbnail, we can just hover over it and the dev name is games underscore sum. And you can simply check the difference that CSS does to my page by simply enabling it and disabling it. It's huge because it can give me more freedom to align text and add a borders, shadows and a lot of cool stuff. Bonus tip, tip number 11. New profile is complete without having cool games inside it to play and have fun with. So make their thumbnail attractive and the description too, but most importantly, don't create garbage game. Choose your game carefully to show on your portfolio. And finally, don't forget to save and we're done. Now, you just have to spend time tweaking and modifying your profile to find the version you like. I hope you found these tips helpful and feel free to share your HIO page in the comments below so we could check them out and play your games. And what other tips do you have to improve our profiles? And if you made it this far, consider subscribing and joining our kingdom over on Discord. Links in the description. But now, don't forget to like, share this video with your fellow game dev, and again subscribe, and see you all in the next adventure.